In the last 8 years, I have learned a few skills that may not be 100% part of the design processes that we do as designers, as website designers, but they are complementary to what we do. And I think it's very important to know that sometimes you might have to learn something else outside of your box so that you can create a better website, a better product. So in this video, I'm going to show you or talk to you about the five skills that I think have really improved my design skills, but have also allowed me to create better results for my clients. So if you're interested, stay tuned. What's going on guys, my name is Apollo Perilla and if you're new to the channel, I do videos about website design, UX design and the overall design process and I also share with you my journey in creating my career as a web designer and as a UX designer. Today I just want to talk to you about five things or five complementary skills that I think have made a huge difference in my website design career and the first one is to understand video and photography. And you see, every website should be able to tell a story. Whether you're using something like StoryBrand to tell a story with content, you also want to use images and graphic design to be able to enhance the story. And that's exactly what I think photography and videography can do for you. Now, these skills, you don't have to learn to do them, like you don't have to become a videographer or a photographer. But being able to understand them and being able to use them properly is going to help you create better result for you or for the websites that you're working on. And the reason why videography and photography are so important is because you can do a lot with a photo. You can create emotions or, you know, break emotions completely. With a video, you're able to tell a story with sounds, with music, with people's voices. You're able to bring more people, more elements into, a, into the picture or the frame more than with just a photo. So being able to understand them, how to cor color correct them so they look like the brand, how to color correct the videos and the photos so that they also create that feeling and being able to bring music or other elements into it so you can create a better story. The next thing, and I know this one is obvious, is to really learn graphic design because there are a lot of different types of graphic designs and different methods that you can use to create one design. Let's say you can use isometric to create a little bit of a two dimensional um, filling on your website. You can also learn three dimension um, graphic design so you can really enhance the look and the movement or interactions of your website. A lot of the time designers when they go into designing websites they are usually designing flat interfaces not really with different isometric elements, 3D elements, shadows or anything like that. And if you have been following the latest trends for like 2021 you will see that a lot of design elements are going to be 3D, are going to be 2D, the websites are more interactive, they are not just static, that are not moving, just up and down. Websites will even be scrolling to the right, to the left. By knowing different graphic design methods and the way you can enhance designs, you will be able to create a much more clean website. And the next one, as I'm talking about storytelling and I'm talking about the way you can, you know, bring your concepts or ideas to life with videos, photography, or even using something like isometric design, about learning to write. And I'm not just talking about writing an essay for school or something like that, because that kind of writing doesn't really work for the web. And it doesn't really work for many things that we are trying to get done today. Even though you do need to learn to write properly and you know use proper grammar. And when it comes to writing, you sort of maybe want to learn stuff like the story brand framework that is going to allow you to, or teach you how to write short paragraphs that are very powerful, um, making sure that each paragraph that you do have on your website, each heading, each title, everything is related and tells the story. And most importantly, move the user that is using your website or your web application from one step to the next. Now, this is not only for writers, you also have UX writers who are actually, you know, doing all their user experience work. It's all about writing content for websites. So if you're interested, make sure to look for that on Google, just Google it and you will see everything that you will need to be able to get started with UX writing. Now, as websites and web apps can do a lot more than just show a marketing, you know, marketing content or like a, you know, they no longer a brochure for your web, for your business, you have to learn some sort of like product development language. And this is sort of going back into the user experience design sort of things and the UI. You want to be able to talk to your clients or to your boss or whoever is in your team 
using product development language where you get better understanding of what it is that you have to work on, um, the different things that you're going to be fixing, who your users are, and most importantly, be comfortable when you're talking to a client or be comfortable when you're talking to your team. And this sort of leads me to the next one. And I think learning the strategy is probably even more important yet than learning design these days. Because if you're not building a website or a web app or a product that is going to be solving a problem, and if you do not know what the problem is that you're trying to solve, you are just going to find yourself and your clients, more importantly, doing a task all over and over again. And what you sort of want to do is that you sort of want to create a clean strategy or a scope of your project of things that you have to solve. So that whenever you design something and you put it out there, you can see if your design actually did something good for the client or for the product that you're working on. And most importantly, if it solved the problem that you thought needed fixing. Just a few complementary skills that I think have had a great impact in my career as a website designer and now as I move completely into UX design. Now, my question for you is what skills you think are complementary to your business, whether you are, let's say, if you're a videographer, what um, skills are complementary to your video business that you think have made a big impact in your business. And same thing if you are, let's say, a graphic designer, what complementary skills you think have made a huge impact in your business? Let me know by commenting below. And also, as you're here, make sure to hit the bell button and the subscribe button so when I post another video like this, you get a notification and I will see you again in the next video.